Uh, so, uh, what's a way y'all what's a way that y'all cope with social anxiety? Because there's there are ways. So Honestly, what I do Honestly, I, I got I got it. So how what I do is since I do since I know I have it and I know I want to get better at it, like just in life, I like um incorporate myself in more social um settings settings yeah. than I would rather like. So I'm really like getting out of my comfort zone. So I'm getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you get comfortable doing just yeah. new things in life. What's up, bench warmers? We are the bench warmers, because we're not playing with y'all. Three out of five. Three out of five. Almost full effect. We'll be soon, soon enough. But today we're going to touch on a more sensitive topic on our Real Spill segment of the of the podcast. And we're going to start bringing uh, some more attention to social anxiety yes. as well. And uh, the effects that disorder may have on you or another person and how you can get past that in life. Um, so what is social anxiety? What is social anxiety? I can give you a pure definition. It is an intense, persistent fear of being watched over and judged by others. Oh, uh, this is true. Mm. Uh, I myself have had social anxiety a couple of times. Um, I, I don't. Uh, you said like you've only had it a couple of times. Hmm. When I say that, I mean my social anxiety got so bad to the point where it was like flaring and like. I damn near had a um an attack. And what's it called? Um, a panic attack. Uh, cause it, it got to the point I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, but it, it got to the point where I just realized, okay, I do have anxiety because this is like some some different shit. Like this is, some, you know, I've never got like that before. Uh, got hot, start sweating. Uh, lost my breath. Yeah, so like they're having like say, like what, what, what were you when I like? Um, so yeah, this 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 triggered me when I was at um I was on campus at Prairie View in the um not the MSC but you know the other eating area yeah yeah with like the healthy food and all that I was there and then it just hit me out of the blue I think when uh, somebody had tapped me on the shoulder to talk to me that I hadn't seen in a while and uh, you know I don't know, I didn't have no issue with this girl uh, I think we were like a club or something. And she was like telling me about what we were about to do, like for the rest of the day for that club, mm-hmm. like the agenda down there. And like as she was, she was talking, but I wasn't really just like listening because like it, it then like my my hearing was like deafening, like mm-hmm. slowly, and like my heart just started like beating faster and faster and faster. And I was like just looking around, and for some reason it felt like everybody was like staring at back at me. And I was like, damn, like what's what's going on? Why is this happening? And uh. I think she was probably talking to me for like 10 more seconds. I don't know what word she said, but I like had the face, like, you know, being attentive, yeah. uh, you know. But when she walked away, I think I think I just walked out because I wasn't even in the mood to eat anymore. Like, I damn, I couldn't breathe. So, uh, so you feel like, so that's so okay. You was, that's when you was talking to somebody as far as like, you were having a panic attack as far as like, you think she was thinking some of you, or you was just like, no. That, that um that exact that anxiety attack was really coming from um I think because around that time I think I was like homesick and I was also depressed about other stuff mm-hmm. uh, going on with like my family and school and um so you just really had a lot going on. yeah I had a lot going on and also I had I felt like it was a bunch of eyes on me uh, for certain reasons that year. A lot of things can trigger not just a panic attack but your social anxiety to flare. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's yeah. Really things I've, definitely. I've experienced, like me, I, when I was younger, I had it so bad that I would like, okay, they took me to the carnival. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at first it's like, oh, I'm wrong rides, but at a certain point, I start looking around too much. Because I'm like, oh, right, 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 yeah. it's, too, it's too, like, being too many people, uh, excuse me, too many people around. Or mm-hmm. it's like homesick and depression. That, that gets to you as well. It's like anything, anything can happen. Sure. And it's so, triggering and you're flaring. And you're just like, and once you get that feeling you're not breathing, oh, you, and you start panicking because it, no one wants, no one wants to die. So yeah. definitely, when you get that feeling that you can't breathe and you, you're panicking because now you're gasping for air. Mm-hmm. I've had many panic attacks. So it's like, it's like, and like, so do your panic attacks come from social anxiety or just anxiety in general? Mine, so I think, I think um, mine that day, it wasn't even from social anxiety. 
it was just uh just the anxiety that I have. Um, cause like my more social anxiety um, instances, it's more of just me like I'm out somewhere, like what you were saying. I'm just like looking around a lot cause I just, you know, I don't know these people. I don't know what's going on. So I just like have to keep eyes out everywhere. Like if y'all haven't noticed- I'm standing like, paranoid. When we were out in public, like when we went to the mall, if y'all didn't notice, I was on my phone most of the time. I don't like looking up oh, and okay. seeing too many people cause that- Like we're standing back at you? Yes, it's at a certain point, mm -hmm. I feel like it's too many people looking at me, especially and I, I'm, Social, my uh, social anxiety come in different ways. Mm -hmm. Like fail, like you, 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 you're so scared to fail. Like, oh, yeah, it's we, like we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. I too. feel like you, you feel me. It's it's a lot. It's a lot that goes mm -hmm. on with it. So yeah. it's different points, and that shit just like it's th it's things you can do to kind of like balance it. Mm -hmm. But in overall, it's like it's it's a crazy. It's it's not something I have to take lightly because I I know people. Sometimes be like, you gotta get over your social anxiety. You know, oh no, you just tripping this, this, and that. Like, it's, they don't really understand. It's a journey, not a sprint. Yeah, like exactly. That, it, it, it's, exactly. It takes some, some time, some it's, years, really. It's not something you can just, oh, I can get over that. It's not a few months. No, like, some people, it could take months, but I know a lot of people take years. Exactly. And then you can, the to lives, even put the in lives. the effort is half of the battle. Because yeah. it's gonna take those years too, but the, the strain or the toll it puts on your mental and your physical to even put in the effort to, to make that change, to to want to get better with your anxiety. It's a lot. It's, it's definitely a lot. Trey, have you ever had any uh, examples of social anxiety? Or just like just being out and just feeling? Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think mine, my attack really got as bad as y'all's as far as like- you know, Oh, you had a panic attack? I never had like a, I, I'm not gonna say I had a panic attack, mm -hmm. but it was like a, I got I got real uncomfortable and I can really feel it like I can feel myself getting nervous like you know mm. when you was up I think I was the first time the one the most worst recent one I remember is I was at the party and I stepped in there like it was it was easy a party for people like, like you don't know it was who, a party who got what on. like you know what I'm saying like yeah, a, a lot individuals. of people so it was like individual and it's a house party too so it was like you know, I ain't been, in, I ain't really, I really haven't been in that sitting like that because I don't go out for this very reason and stuff like that. I don't like being in groups of people. I don't like yeah. it. when stuff happen, group dynamics, or uh, something that might not, you know, just group dynamics. People, because I'm, I'm a very, I, I gotta know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I was in the party and I was just, I mean, it was cool, you know, I saw my people, whatever. And I was just standing there. He got, you know, I already talked to everybody, you know, just standing there for like, 10, 15 minutes, and I think I was, uh, like, I was just listening to the music, and then, like, I just, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I was just, I felt like people was just staring, like, looking at me. Mm -hmm. I felt, like, like you, you ever just, like, felt like you had like eyes? Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so That's when I was in the, when I was in the cafeteria, it felt just, like, just like that. Like, like, like it's crazy, and I'm like, damn, I'm like, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? So, I think, that night, I ended up leaving from inside the house and I stepped outside. Mm -hmm. That's where, uh, I mean, that's where a whole bunch of other people was at. But like, they really didn't, and that's when I knew like, okay, I was, I'm really tripping because like I stepped outside and it's a, you know, it's, it's a slightly different environment, but it's still mm -hmm. people, I, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like. You was able to get back at ease? Not really though. When you went outside? No. Oh, damn, no, I'm thinking. Like, 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 like that's, that was the thing. Like I still had that. Like that good feeling, like I was. Did it get like, worse? Sick, or did it like, I want to yeah, probably like a little sick, huh? Like, did it get worse when you stepped outside, or did it go down a little bit? I mean, it helped me a little bit because I was outside. You know, I get breathing or whatever, and I was yeah. away from folks. But like shortly after that, I think I had to lift. Oh, see. Yeah, like I, you know, I ain't gonna lie, we getting mixed energy like that too. Remember, um, we went to that party, that, that ranch party. Man. I had that same feeling right before uh, all that shit had happened, Man. and we had to jump. The no, I'm t yes, I it be oh, energy like that though. That night was so crazy. I, I gotta trust your feeling on that. I promise. That night was so crazy because you know what? I had just got out of surgery and I barely, I couldn't even yeah. run. Yeah, I couldn't even run. We talked about that. I couldn't even run like so we, that. We gonna talk about that, bro? Okay. Um, but yeah, like just because when shit like that yeah. happens, like damn, what the fuck? Like I went out and I really, I, my ass could have got shot because I was. Yeah. 
I, I, you know, I really couldn't move over shit when it, when that, you know when, when that adrenaline run. <laughs> you know, yeah, but you ain't feeling that no more. I'm saying my life. Shit, I ain't feeling that damn. <laughs> I ain't feeling that. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, she got. No, I could definitely uh, agree with you. So I was just thinking, like, what's a way y'all? What's a way that y'all cope with social anxiety? Because there's. There are ways. So what I do, honestly, I got, I got. So how, what I do is, since I do, since I know I have it, and I know I want to get better at it, like just in life, I like um, incorporate myself in more social um, settings, settings yeah. than I would rather like. So I'm really like getting out my comfort zone. So I'm getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you get comfortable doing just exactly. new things in life. So like, like boom, after I had that panic attack. I, um, I got in like three different uh, PV clubs. Uh, shit, I got into an editing club. I got into a, 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 a media club about like music and shit. I just started like just being out more. Cause shit, at that time you was gone and you wasn't uh, at Blend no more. And I oh, think yeah. damn it, everybody else had left. It was really just me. Oh yeah. So I was really just trying to like just be out in the mix more to like get more uh, appropriated to Understanding that I, that I have anxiety and get better at it. Yeah. So like, I I enjoy the carnival. Uh, I don't yeah, just like yeah, being around a lot of people, but I could do like the carnival. Like the carnival is fun, and like I I just be looking around and like I'm paranoid, but it's cool. But I would probably be like a little bit more uncomfortable at like a concert setting, because then it's like just mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't think I really just. I'm not a concert, okay. A concert is really pretty much like a party. You got PV concerts, pretty much they know how it is. Sometimes they just be in stadiums and shit like that. But you know, they like Yeah, the stadium was cool. Like a PV that's like, so cool. like I, I feel what you're saying. But like, like when it's mosh just, pits and shit like that. that the mosh pits. Fuck, nah, nah, that's not for me. Like I wouldn't go to like a that's a Travis me. Scott concert or a Playboy Cardi or Chief Keith. I wouldn't go to a Chief Keith concert. Yeah, you, you, I, I fuck with the music. I listen to like, it. I don't I don't fuck with that. I don't wanna just Yeah, yeah, yeah that's going on. nah. I can't do that. Me is is uh just throwing myself out there like that. I personally can't do it. Mm -hmm. Like it takes time. Like if I just start throwing myself out there like that, I feel, especially if I'm by myself and I'm alone. Yeah. You no, know, I can't do it because I'm gonna freak out. Somebody's gonna say something to me, and my brain is gonna completely take it a whole different way. Like they could probably be saying something to help me, and I took it in a bad way. I'm gonna spat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That I can't do. It. I was fucking up. I was mad. I was mad. I think I had somebody was waiting on something like it's like so it's like social anxiety. I feel like I'm now now that I'm thinking about it and I just read this, I got I got a better understanding of it. So now I'm thinking about other things like just keep popping up in my head like like I said at the time that was at work. Mm -hmm. And I think these people waiting on their food or something like that. No, you know what I'm saying? Other people, you know, some people that just walked in. And I was already buying on um, doing ooh. this. Okay, and yeah, because I'm know like, what I was away so, too, so I know how that feels. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's a lot just going so, on. Usually it's like so usually it's like cool for me. Mm -hmm. But when it's people looking at you, you, you can damn near hear them talking about you. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, don't you can't let me hear that. Because if ooh. I hear it, they're not they're not like talking they're not about talking you talking shit. about no, that. I, I know they're what I'm saying. Like, Oh, this is taking, gonna, like, you know, it's taking a minute, or you know, they looking at you know, you're a part of the But you don't, even, you don't even have time to spaz out on them. But I'm, I'm not, busy. No, I'm not, I'm not saying spaz on them. I'm saying, like, if I hear, yeah, like if I start hearing that shit too, oh, yeah, then it, I, I, I'm de I'm damn near gonna have an attack right here. In front yeah, of you. my self esteem is gonna go down after that. Uh, but that's how. But that's how. That's how, that's how it's, 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 it's weird. Yeah, like, yeah that's it's a weird. Thing. That's, 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 but that's how I worked on it, though. That's exactly Facts. how I worked on it. That's I was able to go, go there and do it because it's, it's so crazy thinking about that whole little process I went through. Like, you know, I started there as this, and I ended up as this. Mm -hmm. And it's like it really changed me as a person. Yeah. Like you know, at first I didn't really want to. I didn't really care about meeting new people. I already got friends. So but yeah. friends. It was a trip down to arc. <laughs> it's like I don't, you know, it's <laughs> it was just like that, like you know. So I never really just try. I never really just tried to reach out and make new friends. You feel me? Like, I mean, yeah. So when I got there, I was like kind of anti-social. I only talked to like maybe a couple people. The person I got hired with, and you know, the 
support the other black guy. <laughs> you know. With, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Nah, but you know I'm what I'm saying? And eventually I got out and got to meet new people and they got cool and shit so like that. So tell me, what's, and, what's another, what's a way you think um you could start or get in the process of starting uh, to help your social anxiety? Or any anxiety, you know? What's the start? Yeah. Like, how do you manage yours? The very first start, how do I manage it? Yeah. I don't, I don't really go, I don't really go places. Like, that's, that's the, like I said, I think mine's just coming like, really, I don't want to say I isolate myself, but it's like, that's damn not how it is. Like, you stay in your pocket. Like, just stay in my pocket, just stay out the way. You know what I mean? That's your way. I, a person, well, that's that's who you are. Because I'm a cool person. That's like, don't get me wrong. I'm not going. I'm not. You know. I'm, you're not friendly with everybody. I'm just not friendly yeah. with everybody. Yeah, yeah. I find you reserved. That's cool. Because I'm a, I'm an introvert myself, but I try to like break out of it for like just ne like network yeah, opportunities. Yeah. You feel me? Because but if I could be an introvert, I would do that. I'm not gonna lie. That I don't understand how people. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't understand how they're introverts. I just my because my social anxiety sometimes comes when I'm. By myself, like I don't like being like I'll be in my room, but if I'm in my room too much, and like it's like, damn, oh shit, people probably got oh, exactly whole he ain't come see you. Like I'll start thinking random shit like that. Like mm, I'll get, get paranoid. I get paranoid. I'm like man, par paranoia really really mess you up. I've been like you really do stupid shit. Right? Like bro, I'll be paranoid. Especially so. if you depressed too, man, man. You know, paranoia and depression is a crazy add, combo, add to it, bro. man. But like me, for me, how I started doing it, mm -hmm. it's damn near the opposite of trade. I actually was like, you know what? Fuck it, I can't just be scared to like, I'm around so many people. Like when, if, when I get nervous, I start to talk. I was like talking mm -hmm. and I train, I, I train my body to do so like, yeah, so that way mm -hmm. I'll start talking to people okay, and, then, and I can start seeing that, oh, these people not here to hurt me. Cause I- And then those voices go down. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah I, see, I feel like, mm -hmm. yeah, I do that too. That's in the setting as if like- It depends on the setting. But say you walk in the setting where like, you don't know nobody. And, but the, no, that's another thing one though. person. I, that's the thing. I don't go by like, myself. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, I, I have I, to learn I, I, I how to do be, that. I wouldn't be by myself either, but still like, I mean, if I'm only with like two, three people, and it's like that's why. Remember, when we went to that graduation party? Yeah. You know, I'm like, no, that's what, that's the thing. Cause I like, I'll go I'm like, like uh, uh, yeah, that shit. Oh. Like, I'm like, damn, I could smile by myself, but I don't even really just know her no family like that. Yeah, like, you like, I know yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah, she knows that. Yeah, my nigga, too. Like, yeah, who's nigga eating? My daughter's fucking food. Like, why is he in my house? My backyard. I'm gonna bring another person. She know. It just it feels better, like. I, I feel much better going into a place where I don't know nobody if I if I bring somebody with me. Because mm -hmm. so, that way, even though I don't know y'all, I'm chopping it up with you. you and eventually yourself. somebody going to say something. Mm -hmm. And once I start talking to somebody new and give it a couple of people, the next thing you know, yeah, I can cool. talk to them. Like, yeah, that's, what, that's, one, that's yeah. one way to avoid social anxiety is to be just be just around cool. your people. Like, you know? just, and, and, and that's what it is. Like, sometimes you just need to talk. You feel me? Uh, I, I, I just get to talking, and then next thing you know, like, oh, this dude actually real cool. Cause at, this, at the same time, though, at the same time, though, you do what you do, and you do. I do agree with what you're saying, and, and as far as like, you gotta know how to speak to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like that's one thing you just gotta learn. You just gotta anybody gotta learn how to do. Cause if you can't speak for yourself, you know, close mouth don't get fed. And that's the perfect way to fucking end the show right there. On a note like that, cause he's not lying. Real spill. Real spill. We we gonna give out some more. Free game <laughs> <laughs> on another episode of Real Spill real soon. Um, and our next video with the amazing collab. I'm not, I'm not even going to say who it is. Surprise guest. Y'all check that out on the next episode. Uh, until the then. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs>